All right, so in this next video, what I'm gonna do is uh, I wanna touch up on the model. So I'm in the front space bar. When I mean front, it's always meant to be an orthographic front. All right, so it looks a little chunky right here. Because uh, when I look here, I mean, this, you know, it does look chunky too, right? But I kind of like this. And I think this is a, could be a little bit more thicker. I don't know, maybe it's just me being OCD. But I'm gonna grab that. Right? I'm in, I'm in vertices mode, right click, vertex mode. So you just drag, select like that. And I'm gonna just you know, eyeball it a bit, something like that. Maybe pull it back a bit. Click outside. Press four. I'm gonna just select like that. Press R for the scale. Zoom in a bit. And I'm gonna pull on the Y. Something like this. That looks like a square, All right? Oh, this one's a little off. Maybe I'll grab that and I'll just zoom in. Let's grab like that. Yep. Something like that. Grab that. Maybe I just. Yeah, that looks all right. I press the space bar, space bar, I mean space bar, and then, you know, get four sided view. I'm in the side view now, side view. And I'm looking at the side view, it's a bit wide, right? Press four. See? See how kind of rectangular it is? So I'm gonna pull it this way. I'm gonna click outside. Grab that. I just re grabbed it again. Or maybe. So it's more square. This one. Maybe do a little bit more square. I'm just eyeballing things a bit. Okay, so. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Uh, right click object mode and then so we got that part done next uh, ready to make some cut lines I'm going to use the multi cut tool uh, purely multi cut tool no option box you hold on shift and you cut across hold on shift using the front front then uh, I made another one cutting across, so there should be two. So space bar, in my front, space bar, press five, select it. I'm in object mode. Shift right click, multi cut tool. Shift right click, multi cut tool. Here's my handle. Ignore this stupid yellow lines trying to interact with. Hold on shift. I'm holding down shift. Now place one, I clicked here, or I clicked. I did not let go. I'm gonna, I can just cut straight across because I have my shift button uh, on. Like around here, let go. My cut tool is still active. And uh, I'm gauging this, so maybe from right around here, I think. Hold on, shift, left click, and hold, go across. Boom. So again, that was shift, and I just went across. Uh, right click, vertex mode. Something looks a little wonky. 
Yeah, I just grab all of this here. Zoom in a bit. Maybe I'll just pull it, I'll pull it a little bit this way. And uh, this part right here. I'll grab that. Maybe I just pull it back a bit. Space bar, space bar, I'm in here now. Looks alright. Space bar, space bar into here. Yeah. I'm fine with that. Okay, next. Alright, so the next thing I want to do is I want to raise this thing a little bit higher. See this thing right here, this size, from here to here, right click, vertex mode, I'm gonna grab like that, press 4, I mean press W, like that, so it's higher, I mean this part, the lower half is higher. Okay, so next I'm going to select the faces, right? So basically, these faces are going to be selected and they're going to be uh, extruded out. So right click face mode, select, press Q to kind of just hide my tool for a bit. So I select that part and I can like, on this area, it goes across down, no shift, see how it turns into a plus sign, double click. Boom. I'm going to turn it around a bit, and then right here, hold on shift, double, boom. That didn't work. So some, of it, some of it will work, some of it won't. I'm going to click that, double click. Alright, so I got that part. And then click, click. Like that, Maybe all the way down to here. Yeah. So when it works, it works really well. Uh, I'm gonna hold on Shift, click, and right around here, double click. See? Click, double click. click. Move down here. Right here, so you have to take a good look, you know. So basically, the outlines we made, right? All these outlines, they're what you call footprints. You're basically setting up the underlining frame, right? Or like, yeah, your blueprint. You could call it a, your setting up a footprint. And then from there, you're going to go shift, right click, extrude face. And then you're going to set the thickness to, don't mess with the gizmos. Sometimes you could work with just pushing and pulling. This is a situation where it won't work. Uh, 0.2. It is. So I'm just saying if I like it. Yeah, I'm okay with it. Press Q to just kind of hide the tool. Right click, object mode. All right, so there we are. I'm kind of zooming in, like the height of that. This height is good, right here. Uh, yeah, this is all right. On the outside, right, it's kind of bulky. So the extrusion caused it to be kind of a bit wider. So in here, press 5, 
It's definitely wider. See, it, it widened it up. Before it wasn't as this wide. Right? So, uh, that part I kind of not... See this right here? This is more equivalent to what, what I had before in terms of the, the body frame. So I can work on that, but before I do, I'm gonna just uh, grab this end, right? The, you're looking at the front, so that's the right side. Press H, H is in Henry. And now, these are interior faces that got made. Let me just uh, turn off back face calling for a bit. See this? This shouldn't be here. I'm gonna right click, face. Ignore this. This is just a, it's hiding, highlighting red like that, right? So just, it, that's okay. Right? It's just trying to show on this side as well. So, but this stuff, press Q. These are faces that I shouldn't be here. The reason why I have these interior faces is because of the, um, uh, what do you call that? The duplicate special option. Now, if you're having a bit of a hard time framing your subject, press F. Frame, it will refocus it. Like that. So these are the faces that I want to delete. Because, yeah. Press delete. Now right click and hold and drag. Right click, hold, and drag, let go. Now I'm going to grab him. Press H. Space bar, space bar, right click, vertex mode, right? Press four, all right, so you see this here? This part right here, this gap, or this extra line in this segmentation, that is this. See, see that part? I'm just trying to show to how to understand what we are looking at when it is in wireframe. This is this, okay? And uh, this, right, you see this? Is this, see? This part right here, and this, right? Just trying to share what you are lo looking at, as I mentioned before. Anyway, right click, vertex mode. I want to grab this old chunk. That old chunk of uh, vertices from the front are these, okay? You see these, right? Space bar, space bar, into my front view. I'm gonna just yank on it a bit. I'm just trying to imagine, press five, how bulky I want my frames to be, like maybe around here. So I'm looking from this one right here, up and down. And yeah, put like that. Yeah, something more, something more like that. Before it was way wider like this. Is this how wide this is? Maybe I just grab it again. We'll be careful. This part I want to leave alone for now. Just this part. Press five. Yeah. Yeah, I like that better. Press four. I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna grab this. All right. It's Q, so you can see. I press R. I'm gonna scale it out. Like that. I'm looking for this box right here. It's almost a perfect box. See? But this is fat. This is more normal. See this? This here needs to be worked on. So I'm in my uh, side view. I'm gonna grab this. 
And we'll grab this. So what did I just grab? I grabbed these guys, okay? Press four. These are the ones I grabbed because they're too wide. So I'm now going back to my side view. Press R. I'm not grabbing these over here, these guys. So I'm just looking over here, how fat this is gonna be. Zooming in. That looks like a square, pretty close. Click out. Now these guys, right, you see these? Those are just these interior on the other side, right? See? Right, so I got a nice even frame and they're not too chunky. I don't want it too chunky. But at the same time, I didn't want it to be too skinny. So I'm happy with that. 